Fungi are extremely diverse. We can see a great variety in their shapes and their sizes of mushrooms alone. Um, but really, most fungi are just hidden from view. They live in the soil or in the wood, and they play a vital role by breaking down material and, and releasing nutrients for future generations of plants. So really, they're sort of the unsung heroes of our ecosystems. We rely on them every day, um, but most of them, perhaps as many as 95% of them, uh, we d still don't know about. They're, they're hidden from view, we've never seen them. In Kew alone, we have about 2,700 species of fungi documented. And that's probably just a small fraction of, of actually what does occur here. And there's so much more that remains to be discovered. Most of the fungal diversity in this world um, exists in the soil, in wood, in places you can't see them very easily. Beautiful. A little cup fungus, related to morels, related to truffles actually. Fungi are the major decomposers of the world. Without them, all the dead plants and animals would just pile up. So fungi are responsible in, in natural ecosystems for returning all of the nutrients that are locked up in this material back to future generations of plants and animals. They are major sources of medicines, the world's first antibiotic was derived from a fungus. A lot of the cholesterol-lowering medicines, the statins, are originally derived from fungal chemicals, as are drugs that revolutionized transplant surgery, cyclosporin. These are major, major chemicals in medicine, they're useful in medicine. So fungi have contributed all kinds of, of useful chemicals to us. Importantly, uh, as we're now in an era of, of needing new pharmaceuticals, new chemicals, uh, how do you predict where to, where to find those? The best way to predict them is by understanding who the closest relatives are to the ones that already give us those products. Our understanding of fungi is taking huge leaps forward with advances in technology that allow us to examine their DNA, enabling us to find them in places we've never seen them or rarely seen them. That technology has really unveiled this enormous world to us. It also means we can build a reliable fungal tree of life, showing the relationships between all these species. So it, it's with this knowledge of new species, new diversity, new occurrences that allows industry and other uh, aspects of society to apply that in new ways. Ways that we, don't, we can't even think of now, ways we can't really predict now, but might be the next big discovery in medicine, for example. It's because we did that, that fundamental baseline work today that makes it possible for that discovery in the future.